Hi there, I'm Andy Allen. Welcome to 10400 Milky Way in beautiful River Place. Come on in. You know, I try to bring you great product on each of these videos, but this one today is really a special house. This is priced at 1.69, almost 5,400 square feet, as I said, in River Place, over an acre. This is close to all three amazing schools out here, walking distance to River Place Elementary, and this is about as close as you can be, driving distance, two lights away, to Four Points Middle School and Vandegrift High School. Incredible schools. Plus, River Place has, it's a country club community, so just down the hill from the drone shot, you're gonna see the country club with golf course. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. But important today that you see some of these finishes. This house really is amazing. Starting with the foyer. Look at the niches all around the foyer and the attention to detail up above. Beautiful lights, beautiful custom iron work, the ceiling detail up above, massive arched iron door with the side lights. These are maple floors, maple floors throughout most of this first floor. And as you step forward, you're in a formal dining room. Ceilings go up in the middle to 24 feet. And again, look at the attention to detail throughout, from niches to upper windows, massive ceilings. Look at the fireplace, Venetian plaster, beautiful. If the gray isn't your color, it can be whatever color you want, but this is a, this is a beautiful finish. And this leads us into the family room. Again, two stories of windows in the family room. Iron rails, niches. Look at the detail everywhere. Our maple floors continue through here. A wall of glass across the back. I'm gonna take you out in the backyard in a little while, but what you need to see is, look at the privacy. There are no window treatments across the back of this house because nobody can see in. There is no house behind it. Big two-story, 24-foot ceiling. And the family place, the, the, the family room is wide open to the kitchen. And look at the finishes in the kitchen. Look at these tops. Beautiful, massive, marble island kitchen. The lighting is beautiful, imported European lighting. Great size breakfast area. Our maple floors flow throughout. Lots of prep space in here. Thermidor, commercial range, six burner, one oven here, another oven over here. Microwave, dishwash, everything wide open. Built-in fridge, great size walk-in pantry. All of this, first floor, wide open with walls of glass. You can, I can't even begin to tell you about the natural light in this house. Come this way and let me show you the master. Master bedroom is to the back corner. And as you'll see, it is all to itself. How about this for a master bedroom? Look at the ceiling height. Look at the windows all the way around. Look at the amount of privacy in here. Niches above the bed. Lighting above the bed. Individual lighting controlled here for your reading. Plenty of room for a workstation. Overlooking the backyard, overlooking the pool. Massive, gorgeous oak trees. And if you want to block it out, you already have the custom curtains to be able to close off. Look at this, if, if, you're, if you're impressed with the master bedroom, wait till you see the master closet. Master closet ceiling height, master closet chandeliers. Look at the amount of hanging space, look at the built-ins. I have pull downs all the way across the top. I have natural lighting with windows over here, hanging space. Storage, massive closet. And look at this. If you are someone who is fond of the way you look from behind, hey, you can see your backside all the time in this closet. <laughs> in addition, through this opening, 
I've got more storage. So look at the space. The built-ins for shoes. A wall of built-ins for shoes, and at the end of this wall is another built-in cabinet for, for a, bu a built-in dresser, if you will. And then the master bathroom. Gorgeous floors, high ceilings, amazing natural light, big corner jetted tub, separate water closet with door. Look at the double vanities. Backsplash is beautiful, the cabinetry is beautiful, the walk in shower. To give you a feel for the size, it is a very deep walk-in shower. Master suite, bedroom, bath, closet, all three are exceptional. I don't, I don't care what your hot button is. Usually with houses as you walk through, you go, I can live with the closet because I love this other part. This master suite is exceptional. Let me show you the rest of the house. Also on the first floor, we have the office, which has a full bathroom next to it. So if you needed another bedroom on the first floor, you have that. We also have a casita out back that I'm gonna show you that's detached, that's right off the back of the house. Welcome to the office. Box beam ceiling, French doors leading to the front. And look how private even the front of the house is. Gorgeous with the landscape and the trees. It sits on just over an acre. Uh, the very front of River Place. So easy access in and out of the neighborhood. Now this office, as I said, could double as a bedroom if you needed it to. It does have a walk-in closet over here. And it has a full bathroom next to it here. Let's take a look upstairs. This side of the house, we have two secondary bedrooms, each with the maple floors, beautiful windows. Look at the amount of natural light coming through, ceiling fan, each has their own walk-in closet and each has a really pretty finished bathroom. This one, just like the next, marble top. Take a look at the tub, beautiful window, really nicely finished. And as I said, a walk-in closet. Down the hall, we have another bedroom. Great size room. This one's off the front of the house. It actually has French door leading to its own private patio. Covered, walk-in closet, and a bathroom once again with the beautiful marble tops. Look at the flooring. Again, really nice. All the finishes in this. Here's what you need. So where we are in kind of the Vandegrift school area of 2222, here's what you normally find. Houses out here were built in 90s to around mid-2000s, 2007. What you, what you had in that era were very heavy Tuscan houses. So much of what is on the street of Milky Way is very Tuscan. You see dark stone. When you get in the houses, you have a lot of interior dark stone. This house is a completely different style. White marbles, white open kitchen, ginormous ceilings. It's very different from the very dark kind of yellowy feel of yesterday. This is very much today. And these houses really don't exist out here because the neighborhood was built out before this style actually began. So it's very rare to find one where someone was forward thinking. The architect actually had, had a feel or the original owners had a feel for what was coming and that's what they built. Let me show you the other side of the upstairs.
First game room area. Self-contained French doors. You can close it off. It's quiet up here. You can close off this area. We also have French doors leading to a covered outside patio. And, and again, look even through the windows how private this is. Really beautiful. We'll be out back in a minute. Off of this room, this we'll call the ping pong room. And take a look. So, double door entry, massive ceilings again. We have stairs dropping down. We have a wet bar with a half bath over here. Tons of space. So, whether this is a game room, a media room, we don't have a lot of natural light, so it's perfect to be a media room, but it is a great size room. And remember, because we're coming through the room that was our ping pong room, if you have the need, those doors can be closed off. This is a powder room with a closet next to it that could easily have a tub and shower. This could almost be like another master suite upstairs. You have a Romeo and Juliet balcony through those two doors that overlooks the foyer. And you have a great size walk-in closet for this room. So upstairs, quick recap. We came up the stairs. On the far side, we had two guest rooms, each with their own walk-in closets, each with the beautiful marble flooring. Um, and each with their own baths. We come to the other side of the house and we have kind of the play or entertaining areas. Unless you needed another master suite upstairs, that's here also. Now, let's go downstairs and finish with this main structure, because after that, I'm gonna take you outside and show you the casita, which is also really beautiful and incredibly practical. across to the front of the house. So you'll have your bearings. I want you to remember through here, we have the family room, two story ceiling into the kitchen and breakfast area. Coming back through all this on our maple floors, back to the foyer on each side of the foyer. I have coat closets, solid core doors and m -Tech hardware throughout the house. Really well finished. Through this door, three car garage, side entry, wooden doors on the outside. And through here is the utility room. First of all, kind of built-in desk, lots of space, sink, cabinets above, cabinets below, dishwashers on the back side over here, and nothing but storage on this side. Built-in storage, hanging space, great size utility room, kind of a funky, cool 1950s floor. Again, solid core doors throughout the house. Catch all. So when you come in from the outside and the books, the stuff, rather than dragging it through, here's your spot. You got cabinets to put it in, you got shoes for underneath. And through this door, take a look. This is a this is a two-story covered outdoor living area with fireplace. This is now fireplace number three in this house. Pool, upstairs covered living area is here. Nothing but glass looking into the breakfast area. We have access through here, through the puppies. We have access to the garage. Still completely fenced in from the driveway. And then this is the casita. Full bathroom in the casita. Overlooking the pool. Now in this case, they use it as a gym. We take a look at the space in the room. Again, we haven't cheated on anything. Look at the ceiling height. Ceiling height. Windows overlooking the outside. Tons of natural light coming from two areas. Tile floors. So, if you have a mother-in-law, this is the ultimate mother-in-law. She can stay back here, have complete privacy, have her own bath, have a walk-in closet. And during the day, mix and mingle with everybody, but at night, come back here. Or if you have a home office and you feel like, I would love to office at home, but, but it gets too loud with everybody in the house, 
okay, this is the perfect answer. There's a little bit of an echo in here right now because there's nothing on the floors and very little hanging on the walls. We don't have carpet, but this, is a, this would be a, a beautiful room to work in. And take a look at the bathroom. Again, our walk-in closet, straight ahead. Look at the size of the shower. Beautiful subway tile, nicely finished, nicely finished vanity. This bathroom can also serve as the pool bath. Tile floors coming in off the pool. Nobody has to worry about dragging any water back into the main house on those beautiful maple floors. And here, there we are back to outside to the pool area. So come through here. And I'll show you the outside. Two-story outside living area we just came from with fireplace. Covered patio back here. Sitting area. Covered patio up above. Another outdoor dining area over here. But pan around. Look at this beautiful pool with bubblers. And again, we're on an acre plus lot. Take a look at the privacy for here. Take a look at the size of these oak trees. I mean, just gorgeous oak trees. One of them has a tree house in the very back where you can hardly even see there's room. They have a trampoline back there for the kids. They have a sitting area over here. You could have a small fire pit in the middle. This is, this is a really, really beautiful setting. And remember, very close to 2222. Shopping, you got HEB blocks from here. You have Super Target blocks from here. You got the, the elementary school. The back of this lot has a wrought iron fence. If you walk through the gate in that wrought iron fence, and through the, there's a church back there, just past the church, you're at the elementary school. So if you have young kids, you're not even dealing with walking in the street. You're walking, dealing right past the church and into the elementary school. Beautiful, beautiful setting. I'm gonna give you a quick shot on a drone. We're gonna take it up and give you a feel for where you are. Remember, golf course community, you'll see the golf course, that's part of River Place. And then you will also see in the, we're in the hill country. This is the start of the hill country. This neighborhood has another street that has a lot of comparable houses. Built around the same time, it's all the way down at the bottom and it's on the lake. The houses that would be in this price range would be across the street from the lake. Most of them are Tuscan in style. And it takes 11 minutes to get from the street when you pull in here to the neighborhood to that section. Here we are at the very front of the neighborhood. This is a beautiful house, really beautiful. Enjoy the drone and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Ready? Mm -hmm. 10400 Milky Way in a River Place neighborhood in West Austin. Almost 5,400 square feet on over an acre. <laughs> Gorgeous modern today finishes. Maple floors throughout, three fireplaces, massive 24 foot ceilings inside. Beautiful, gorgeous, updated kitchen with, with gas, with gas cooktop, big thermidor commercial range, marble tops, uh, glass backsplash, wide open to the family room, two-story fireplace with Venetian plaster in the family room, wall of glass overlooking the backyard, unbelievably private with oak trees, beautiful pool with the bubbler, and on the first floor the master is down, unbelievable closet, great ceiling height throughout, beautifully updated bathroom. Also on the first floor, what could be another bedroom, but is originally designed as the office, has built-ins, has a walk-in closet, full bath next door. Upstairs, we had a couple bedrooms on one side of the house, each with their own walk-in closet, each with their own bath, each with the, the maple floors, beautifully finished. On the opposite side of the house, we had the ping pong room plus a media room, which has a half bathroom that if you needed, you could turn that into another master bedroom upstairs. Outside, massive two-story outdoor covered living area, 
with fireplace overlooking the pool. Casita, one full room, bedroom slash living, plus a full bathroom, plus a walk-in closet. Perfect if you want a home office. Perfect if you regularly have guests come. Perfect if you want a mother-in-law to have some privacy and come live with you full time. Beautifully finished, high ceilings, just like the rest of the house. And then the backyard is just incredible, incredibly private. One, two, three outdoor covered living areas, lots of trees and the oak trees are gorgeous. In River Place, golf course community, unbelievable schools, as close to the schools as we can get, front of the neighborhood where you have very little traffic. All of this priced at 1.69, but the shoes do not come with the house.